Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial, I'm doing something maybe a little different. This tutorial is related to Surecart. Now, Surecart is an e-commerce platform and it is obviously for WordPress and I'm actually using it on one of my websites, actually several of my websites. And I wanna show you today how to make a customer dashboard, kind of like an account area um, in WooCommerce, it would be called My Account. In Surecart, it's called Customer Dashboard. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a tabbed customer dashboard in Surecart in Divi. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I mean here. I think the best way to show you is to go over to my website. So this is Shirley WP. Now this is my website where I sell Surecart add-ons. Um, I'm making add-ons for Surecart, similar to what I do for Divi. Um, we have a whole bunch more coming. We have four released. But if I log in as a customer, so I'll go to my customer dashboard. Here you can see that I placed a test order and there's tabs here. Now the interesting thing is Surecart doesn't have any layout like this. They have their own like um, interface for it. So I wanted to build it with Divi because I'm a Divi person, right? So I came in here and used our Divi tabs maker and figured out how to do it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here you can see the downloads and you know subscriptions and orders and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, if I go into downloads, like I can go in here and uh, if there's a, a license key or anything, see here I can like click download and copy my license key. But anyway, this is the tabs that I'm talking about. And I have them on the side. Obviously, you could put them on the top or whatever you want it to do. But this is what I'm showing you how to do. Basically, it's a combination of Divi and Surecart. So back here, I'll just use this test website. Um, I'm gonna add a row and then you, you need tabs. So it's really, if you wanna use the simple, you know, tabs module in Divi, it's like that. Um, you would come in here and add like, you know, change this to orders um, Maybe change this one to subscriptions That kind of thing, right? <clears throat> the problem with using that is you're really limited on your design In fact, they don't even have a way to put them on the left, do they? It's pretty it's like extremely limited You can kind of do that and you can style the text like that's it all right, so over here on the tutorial, which by the way, I have linked in the description. Um, I just introduced you to what I just said. By the way, if you get this, your save has failed thing. It's it's something with Surecart and Divi. Um, I did talk to them about it and I hope they fix it. Um, it's a false positive. But what that means is that it's telling you that there's a problem. It's telling you your save has failed. If you get the pop-up when you're editing your, your customer dashboard page in Divi, um, once you enable Divi there, you're gonna, you'll probably get that every time you save. You probably will, unless they fix it, hopefully. It's a false positive, so just pretend it says your save has been successful, and it has, um, at least for me. You just X out, and you get out of the browser, and it saves your changes, even though it says it didn't. Um, so anyway, I wanted to mention that. So I have a Divi Tabs Maker plugin if you're if you're finding you know these too simple which you probably are but you can check out that um, design your tabs obviously you can design your tabs however you want I kind of added an icon on the left put my tabs on the left and then an icon and um, yeah however, literally however you want to do that you can download this layout if you want to um, in fact um, well no I'm, I don't think I will because I, I need to show you Number four is the, the most important part of this tutorial, and it's adding the Surecart shortcodes. Now, here's a link. This is the customer dashboard shortcodes over on Surecart's help center. So it's kind of important. Here you can see that they have these shortcodes. Um, these are the ones you're interested in. You gotta copy those. Now you'll notice in here, there's like my orders, my subscriptions, my downloads, Right? Same as my tabs. So that's what we're doing. We're making a tab for each one of these in here. And that's where it gets interesting because you got to wrap each one with this one, customer dashboard page, and then the closing customer dashboard page. 
Let me show you that. So if I go into my tabs maker and I'll just add a new tab, call it orders, and then down in content, what I need to do here, in fact, I can get rid of that content. What I need to do there is take one of these, for example, this, my orders, okay? So I could take that and put it in here. Now, that, that, that may appear to work, but there's a, there's a caveat and that's kind of why I'm making this tutorial because it's such a hard thing to know. There are, there is some functionality where you will need to be telling that, that it is the customer dashboard page. Um, it's something with the URL and like, um, links and emails and stuff like that. Okay. They're going to need to go to the customer dashboard page. And if it doesn't know that's the customer dashboard page, it, it won't go to the right place because of that. You have to wrap each one of these with these and it's very easy. Um, you just do it. Um, I'll, I'll just paste it kind of like that. See, it's that simple. Um, so you can see I'm starting it. SC Surecart customer dashboard page closing SC customer dashboard page and then my orders. Um, the my orders will, you know, you could change this. You could say just orders, whatever you want to say there. Um, a little trick would be to just duplicate that and then say subscriptions, right? Um, and then come back either there or I have them in here. Copy that one. Go down to content, put it there. Oops. Use the, use the plain text paste. <laughs> there we go. So now I have two tabs. Um, like, like I said, you might want to put them on the left or something like that. Yeah. You might want to go into the tab here. Um, and then say, use an icon. Um, and then of course you can style everything however you want and make everything what, yeah, literally however you want or order history and, um, subscriptions. So there you go. Now you could make these tabs, however you want. You could even display these short codes in different text modules or, or code modules or whatever you want to do. So while this tutorial is obviously, oh, here I have nice screenshots. <laughs> while this tutorial is about tabs, it's also like, I guess you could say the main point of it was to show you about wrapping those short codes and just showing you that you can put these anywhere you want in Divi. Um, so anyway, hope that was helpful. If you are a shortcut and Divi user, um, let me know if you want to see other tutorials, um, related to those two things and how they overlap. Um, and definitely check out some of my add-ons. Um, it's exciting. I'm, I have a whole, huge list of add-ons that um, our team is working on for Surecart. Now they are, uh, it's a completely different team, so don't worry. Um, it's not taking anything away from like Divi Assistant or any of our other plugins that we're working on. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you in the next video.